Hey y'all, it's Devin. Um, I think it's January 12th. I'm not sure. I know it's a Saturday. <laughs> um, time doesn't exist for me right now because I'm on vacation. Um, first of all, if you can hear music in the background, I'm sorry. I'm playing music. I hope it doesn't cause copyright infringement, but I like listening to music. Um, second off, I want to apologize for the lack of video updates. Um, I know it's been a while, and truthfully, the reason I hadn't been updating was because there really wasn't anything to update on. Um, I've made, like, a couple videos between like the last video I posted and this one um, but really there wasn't really anything worthy <laughs> everything's worthy but there wasn't anything pertaining to my physical transition that I thought was pertinent to this channel um, so since my last video um, I think I was talking about therapy and where I was at in my um, getting hormone um, prescriptions going. Um, so I had my physical at the Borum and then I went home for a little bit of winter break, came back, um, and I hadn't heard any updates from my, from Dr. Vetter's um, and they were going to let me know when my um, files, like my medical files, came through from my old PCP and when they got in contact with my therapist um, in like a month, not a month, but like a couple weeks went by and I just hadn't heard anything and I was like, okay, like where are we at with this? Like, want to get the ball rolling? So I sent um, Dr. Vetters an email and it took him like, I don't know, three to five business days to get back to me. Um, and he told me, this was last week, um, I think. Yeah, it was, it was the fifth that he got back to me. Um, and he told me, hey, got off the phone with your therapist. We talked. We both agreed that you were in a really good standing. Still haven't received your files, um, like your medical files from your PCP, but that's okay. I feel like you are in a really great spot and that you are healthy enough to start testosterone. Um, and that was super exciting. I got that email at work and I just like started sobbing and it was just like, oh my God, it's happening. Um, so that happened. Um, I my schedule is kind of wonky because I'm working um, a lot and just life's happening. And so I wasn't able to go until this past Thursday. So Thursday, today's the 12th, what, the 10th. Um, so five days passed between that email and until I was able to go in and sign my consent forms. Um, so Thursday night, I went in to the Borum. Um, I had an appointment with Dr. Vetters and we went over an extensive amount of paperwork about um, like permanent side effects, um, non-permanent side effects, um, possible risks, kind of like infertility where I was at with, um, if I wanted to do anything about the ability to have children or not. And I was like, nah, like I'm good. I've never wanted my own kids. Like if anything, I would adopt. I've always wholeheartedly believed that. Um, uh, yeah, I also, also got tested for HIV and I'm HIV negative, which is cool. Um, figured I had not done that once in my 21 years of life. So that was something I felt I should do. Um, yeah, and went through the paperwork, signed all the forms, and he was like, all right, so I have put in prescriptions for you. Ooh, I got some gunkies on here. I have, like, a bunch of stuff over here that I will be drawing from. Um, let's see. 
the okay um they give me like all of this really great paperwork about like my most recent vitals and like reason for this visit what you should do in the future um where you're at with things and that was really nice um so again he was like i'll send in the um testosterone prescription um and start the insurance because i had the option when i went he was like we can fill the prescription tonight and you can get it tomorrow or get it like tonight come in tomorrow and i'll we'll teach you how to do your first shot but I had work the next day, um, and that was really unfortunate. Um, so I'm. That was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday was Friday. Yesterday that I could have started, but um, work and life happens, and work comes first. So um, I'm still waiting, but next week it's happening. Um, so. It was either start yesterday or wait a week for insurance to go through um, so that I could get my insurance to start covering it. And I was like, eh, eh, eh. like, I was like, let's do it tomorrow, meaning yesterday. But then I had to work. So that, that decided my decision to start. Um, and he said, um, he was also going to send in the prescriptions for, um, oh, we're still recruiting. Cool. Sorry, my battery's dying. Um, he said he'll fill in the prescriptions for my needles, alcohol swabs, um, yada yada. He put in a prescription for, um, alcohol pads, 70% like alcohol swabs, um, a sharps collector for my needles, um, hypodermic needles and syringes. Um, the syringes being used to take the tea out from the bottle and then the needles being used to inject myself so that I'm getting the sharpest needle and so that I'm not inflicting pain into myself. Um, and then, yeah, that's, that's that. So those were the prescriptions that he filled um and that night because I was I had to refill my um antidepressants and my anti-anxiety meds um I had them like sitting in my pharmacy so I was like okay like I'm gonna go get them um and surprisingly enough um the testosterone went through like in under two hours um and they told me at CVS, they were like, okay, like here, here's your prescription, um, but we're out of syringes and needles. We're going to get our um, order in tomorrow. Come back. And that was on Thursday night. Um, and I was like, okay, thanks. Um, so I left with my initial prescription um, and I got, hang on, I don't want you to see my valuable information. I got two of these little guys. Um, the second one is propping up my um, iPod so I can film. So I got two of these um, and this will be like a little over a month, month's worth of dosages. Um, he was talking about how there were some issues with getting enough for a month's prescription. So like he does it a little a little differently so I can get enough. So I have two of these. Um, and I didn't have my syringes as of Thursday night. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go in on Friday. Um, so I go back in and I'm like, hey, I picked up a prescription yesterday, but y'all were out of um, syringes and needles. Um, can I pick those up right now? Do you have any back in stock? And like... <laughs> Like, I know people are, like, just doing their job, but I'm also just trying to exist as a trans person. Um, and they were like, what's your name? And it was, like, dead name, names I don't go by anymore. And I just had to keep being like, it's this. And then they were like, what prescription? And I was like, testosterone. And then um, the lady misgendered me a handful of times. I'm just like, I'm just trying to get needles and syringes, please. Um, and so... They, they stocked me up. They were like, how many do you want? And I was like, 
how many can I get? Like, what's, what's, like, legit? Um, so I, I was just like, they were like, how much are you taking? And I was like, I don't know. I literally got this prescription yesterday. I haven't started it yet. Like, they just, y'all didn't have syringes. Like, I don't have the paperwork on me. Um, and I was like, I, I need syringes and I need hypodermic needles. And, um, all I got were syringes. Um, so, so that's where we're at. Um, so I, I might go back and get the needles or I might not. I hate dealing with CVS as a trans person, TBH. Um, it's really frustrating. Um, so I, I technically have everything to start. Um, it's just a matter of going in, um, going to be this week sometime. Um, ideally, I want my partner to be there just because I'm really nervous about starting and I don't want to be alone after the process just in case something happens. Um, so it's a matter of going in with this stuff. Hopefully they have hypodermic needles there. Um, if not, I don't know, I probably will go back to CVS and be like, I'll, I'll just like take take everything and be like, hi, I refilled my prescription, or I got a prescription last week. You gave me this. <laughs> I needed syringes and needles. You gave me syringes. I also need needles. This is my paperwork. Send help. Um, oh, just don't, don't want to deal with getting misgendered and dead named at CVS. That's why I also need to get my name legally changed. And that is a goal of mine for this year, um, to get my name legally changed and get all that paperwork sorted out. Um, my doctor also sent me with information where to dispose of needles in my general area and then um, gender markers. Um, so social security information and um, passport, gender changes, um, just gender marker stuff in general. And then because of that, doing the draft since I'm a guy. And if I change my marker to reflect that, um, government's gonna come at me and be like, you didn't sign up for the draft. What the fuck? Um, now I don't wanna get fined. So um, yeah. Big updates, um, I can't, it still feels so weird to, to be like, here, here it is. It's starting, it's starting, it's starting, it's starting. Um, so I'm probably going to now do a once a week video on this channel, um, probably every Saturday, I'm gonna try to. Um, we'll see how busy life gets and what life there is at me, but I'll try to, upload this as much as possible and just walk y'all through my transition. I am, um, my dosage is um, 0.3 milliliters once a week. Um, so, I don't know if, um, I'll probably show y'all in a, a later video once I have like a better, um, ability to when I'm actually starting this and doing it and know more about what I'm doing but um this is the little 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 point three marker I don't know no one look at my face it's not focusing because this is just a whatever that's the point three so that's how that's how much I'm taking once a week um I'm really happy about that um, cause I feel like it's going to level out my moods, um, and like fluxes of emotions a lot better. Um, yeah, so once a week going to be doing it in my, uh, tummy, I believe. And, um, I have my first follow-up appointment in February. Like once I initially start, um... He wants to see me after a month's worth of doses. Um, and that's just to see like how my body's reacting to it, how I'm like mentally reacting to it, and if um, anything would need to be changed. Um, 
but really the next re real follow-up won't be until two months after that one month. So three months from once I start, start tea. Um, three months after I start, then they're going to um, do blood work and do a lot more of an intensive follow-up um, just to see where my levels are at, how my liver's doing, how my um, blood cells are doing, how my thyroid's doing, make sure that I am a-okay. Um, and then depending on that, like either lessen my dose, raise my dose, keep it at the same, see where I'm at. Um, yeah, and then three months after that, they'll check in on me again. Um, and then hopefully if everything is going okay, they'll be like, all right, we'll see you six months from now and then at your year yearly physical. Um, yeah. I'm so incredibly nervous. Um, like, truly, I keep fluxing between being so excited and being so like, I need to start right now. Um, and being like, can I, can I do this? And am I in an okay place enough to start this big life-changing process? And I just have to take that leap of faith and know, and I know in my heart, like this, this is really what I want. But it's still, it's still really scary. Um, so thank y'all. I appreciate you keeping up with my updates. Um, I hope the new year is treating everybody well. Um, I know we're like halfway through January and that's, that's wild. Um, so I will post another update post tea, probably. I'll probably do like video stuff, etc. once I, um, on the day that I start and incorporate it into my next video. But I will see y'all in a week and I hope it's a wonderful week. I'm so terrified and so excited and so everything, but the journey begins here, everybody. Bye.